At least 106 people are confirmed dead in Maui. Crews are continuing the painstaking process of trying to identify those who lost their lives. The focus now remains on putting out hot spots from the historic fire as officials investigate what could have caused the inferno. Marion Rafferty has the latest. The number of dead keeps climbing in Maui, now surpassing 100. As search and recovery efforts continue on the wildfire ravaged Hawaiian Island. We now have 416 people from FEMA, 273 specifically from the National Guard as well, 185 in the emergency uh, response with 20 dogs finding those who have suffered. And while dry vegetation and powerful winds are blamed for fueling the fire that practically wiped out the town of Lahaina, the exact cause of the inferno is still unknown. But officials are looking into new video appearing to show downed power lines that may have ignited the blaze. I hear a pop coming from across the street. As soon as I hear the pop, all I heard is like electrical, like this is going on the ground there. Look, there's a power line right there. And shortly after, thing was just arcing away on the ground, landed right in dry grass, so sparks, and then there was a fire. Multiple lawsuits have been filed against Hawaiian Electric, alleging the utility provider did not shut off power during the high winds whipped up by a passing hurricane. Losing the town that we all, that built our character, um, how we grew up, our community, that there is maybe a bigger loss than just losing the our home. FEMA officials say affected residents should register for disaster assistance as people from neighboring islands continue shipping over donations. Hawaii's governor says President Biden plans to travel to the island once he knows his visit won't disrupt recovery efforts. Marianne Rafferty, Fox News.